Hello, this lesson is the second part of proportions. Uh, the first part was kind of to help us understand what proportions are. Uh, the second lesson is going to be how to compute proportions. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do is we have to know how to set up proportions. Okay, so maybe we have a problem like this. A bottling machine, let's say at the Coca-Cola factory, in five minutes, it can fully produce 22 bottles of Coca-Cola. Okay. So then, if that machine always runs at the same rate, it's going to produce the same number of bottles per minute, the same ratio. So then we want to figure out this question. How many bottles will be produced in 17 minutes by the same machine? <laughs> that does this okay all right now what we want to do is to see what the two categories are minutes and bottles so we're going to set up things with minutes and bottles okay oh look how beautiful this is five minutes produces 22 bottles how many bottles will pr be produced in 17 minutes? Notice we have the minutes both on top. Okay. Now we could also write it like this. Instead of the minutes both on top, the minutes can be on the, on the left and the bottles on the right. Five minutes produces 22 bottles. 17 minutes produces how many bottles? Okay. Now remember, in each of these, we can go ahead and cross multiply. So whether you put your categories going across as the same or up and down as the same, you're still going to get the same problem. 5 times x is equal to 22 times 17. Okay. Now, if we want to try to compute that, 5 times x is equal to 22 times 17. When we multiply, we get 5x is equal to 374. To get x by itself, we have to divide this side by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times x is x. But we have to divide both sides by 5. So with our calculator, we divide 374 divided by 5. Okay. And then our x is going to be equal to 74.8 bottles in 22 minutes. Okay? All right? Okay. Now, so that's how you set up problems. But how do you uh, compute the proportions? Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to reduce when the proportions given are really easy. Okay? Now watch this. Let's say we have 10 of something equals 30, x of that first something equals 12. So we say, how does 10 become 30? We multiply by 3. Okay? So what number times 3 is equal to 12? 4. 4 is x. Was that real easy? Yes. Okay. Now let's go to this second one here. Um, we can not only go up and down, but we can go across. Horizontal reducing. How does 6 become 30? We multiply by 5. Or we could go this way. How does 30 become 6? We divide by 5. So what's 45 divided by 5? 9. See how easy that is? Let's look, look at this one. How does 12 become 24? We multiply by 2. What's 15 times 2? X is 30. See how easy that, that is? Okay. Uh, this one is a two-step one. Uh, let's go ahead and say that 5 goes into these 
2 times 5, 7 times 5. Now watch this. 2 times what is 12? 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Was that pretty easy? How about this one? Um, why don't we try this? 6 times 4 is 24. 9 times 4 is 36. Well, that's pretty easy. Now, this last one will be two steps. We can simply cancel out those zeros. So now we have 5. How does 5 become 15 times 3? What's 3 times 3? 9. Okay? Now, but all problems are not that easy. Okay? Now, if you cannot reduce like we did on the last ones, then we're going to cross multiply. Okay? So, watch what, what we do here. We're going to cross multiply just like this. 5 times x is equal to 8 times 16. 5x is equal to 128. And when we divide by 5, we get x is equal to 25.6. Now let's see if this makes sense. Uh, 16 is a little more than 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15, and 16 is a little more than that. What's 8 times 3? It's 24, and this is a little bit above 24. So that answer makes good sense. Let's, let's go to this one here. We can't, can't reduce, so we get 6 times 13 is equal to 8 times x. 8x is equal to 78, and when we divide by 8, we get x is equal to 9.75. Now, uh, 13 is a little under double of 8. 9 and 3 fourths is a little under double of 6, so that makes sense. Okay. Now, let's go to the last one here. Okay. So we get 10 times x is equal to 7 times 45. And so that's 10x is equal to uh, 315. Divide by 10. And we get x is equal to 31.5. Okay, let's see if that's realistic. 7 is above half of 10. What's half of 45, 22. 31.5 is above that. Okay, so that makes good sense. All right, I hope you know how to compute fractions.